the greatest light modifier in the history of photography. That's what my friend Manny Ortiz said he was sending me in the mail and uh, I got it right here. The Westcott Manny Ortiz Beauty Dish Switch. And in this video, I'm gonna unbox this thing, give you guys my initial thoughts and impressions of this modifier, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, my name is Miguel Quiles and before I get into this unboxing, I wanna give you guys a quick disclaimer. Westcott, Manny Ortiz, no one paid me to make this video, I'm making this on my own. Manny Ortiz is a friend of mine, he reached out to me, he said, hey, I'm working on something, I wanna show it to you, and a few days later, this shows up in the mail. So uh, everything that I'm about to tell you in this video is my own thoughts, my own impressions, uh, of this modifier. I will say I own several Westcott modifiers and I use them all the time in my professional work. So generally speaking, I like them. Uh, so yeah, Manny's pretty cool too. So let's start this unboxing. Let's see what's on the inside here. Let's see, box is empty. All right, so kicking things off, modifier comes in this uh, nice little bag. It's got this little drawstring thingy here to make sure that things don't fall out. Uh, first thing coming out of the bag here, we've got the uh, deflector plate. So this is what basically turns this modifier into uh, something like a beauty dish. Uh, this is the dish part of the beauty dish. So we'll see how that works here momentarily. Uh, we've got our diffuser. So this goes on the outside of the modifier, helps to soften and spread the light. And of course, the moment that we've all been waiting for, the instruction manuals, just kidding. But it does have instructions. Um, I've got several of these Switch products, and I could tell you that you really don't need a quick start guide. They're really easy to put together, and I'm gonna show you that. Uh, but first things first, kind of uh, looking at this modifier and feeling it, it feels pretty lightweight. Uh, this is a 36 inch light shaper, and um, the quality of the materials is pretty good. I could tell you that with a lot of modifiers, the thing that immediately kind of turns me off to using them is when you feel the material and it feels super cheap, it feels like those dollar store umbrellas. This doesn't feel like that. This feels like a very high quality uh, piece of material and fabric, which is important. I've had plenty of these things break, not these from Westcott, but cheaper modifiers that broke on me on photo shoots. Uh, I don't think you'll have a problem. This is one of the more durable, um, feeling materials that I've seen so far. So of course we got to test it out. Uh, we'll see how it stands up to it. But uh, this modifier has a white interior and I just opened it up. So again, did you need a quick start guide to do that? It's, it's pretty easy. Um, but I've got the one with the white interior. Uh, the Mini Ortiz Beauty Dish comes in two different flavors. Uh, you've got the white interior and the silver. As a portrait photographer, I tend to use the white probably 85% of the time, which is why I asked them, send me the one in white. Uh, silver is really nice, but if you're trying to figure out which is right for you, the white interior is gonna give you a little bit of a softer light, even though the beauty dish in general creates a little bit more of an intense kind of contrasty light. Because it has the white interior, it's a nice kind of soft effect that you're gonna get. Um, for people that have great skin, if you've got a makeup artist that you work with, uh, maybe in that type of scenario, you might want to use the silver because it's going to give you a little bit more contrast, make the skin look a little bit poppier. I went with white because it makes pretty much everybody look really good. So um, that's the modifier. Of course, uh, the diffusion material connects through Velcro on the outside. And then let's check out this beauty dish insert here. All right, so there it is. That is the uh, interior plate uh, where your uh, light is gonna bounce off of that plate, hit the outside of the modifier, and basically illuminate your subject. And if you haven't seen these before, this is the back side of the uh, switch modifiers. And you basically can buy these little attachments. They make them for pretty much every kind of light that's out there. So this is the Bowens mount adapter, but uh, Westcott makes these for Profoto. They make them for Ellen Chrome. Uh, pretty much any kind of light mount that you would need, they make these little inserts. So you buy these separately and they basically just attach, close this thing up, 
And uh, just to show you guys here really closely, so you take this little switch adapter plate, basically just slides in. And then once you've got it in place, you just pull that little click thing there. And there you go. So it's uh, got the Bowens attachment. And again, whatever kind of light it is you have, you basically just pop this thing off, put the modifier uh, adapter on there, put this thing on your light and you're ready to go. So there it is. I mean, this is a pretty sweet idea. So kudos, uh, Manny, for your new modifier. I'm gonna be testing this thing out on a photo shoot in probably the next hour or two. Uh, so make sure you subscribe, stay tuned, because I'm gonna do a full photo shoot, continue to give you guys my impressions on this modifier. But if you wanna learn more about flash photography, check out the video that you see here on the screen in the meantime, and I'll see you later.